Hello everybody Welcome back Pike over here Yes Pike over Welcome everybody Thank you for listening To this podcast As you know Every morning I get in here And give you guys the signal And give you the information you need On the Bitcoin economy how to navigate um, the economy a little bit about everything I talk health wealth a little bit of both and I talk uh, Bitcoin obviously so yeah and the, the reason why I you know do this podcast the number one reason is you know just to keep me First of all, I need something to do on my way to work. And secondly, I love helping others, right? So I like all helping others, right? So if I can, you know, avoid you guys to, from making mistakes that I that I made myself, why not? Right? Why not? So when I why not helping you guys? Uh, avoiding a uh, few mistakes, right? A few thousands of dollars, right? So why not? So it's hard to make money, right? And making money is not it's it's not easy, right? So it's even finding a job right now is very hard, right? So if you have uh, make the money so difficult, you need to be able to protect that money uh, properly. So not only you need to protect you know that money but you need to know like those the, the places you park your money right for example people think when they have their money in the bank account they think it's safe right they think but what you don't realize is the bank is acting you know in your it's it's your enemy Right? The bank is not in your favor, right? so they, it's completely the opposite of your favor. Right? They don't act in your favor; they're really your enemy because they use that money to, to rehypothecate, and they also use that money to reproduce so much more. So they use the trust we give them to create inflation, basically. So. They, they create the expansion of the money supply without trust, right? So if nobody uses banks, right? banks would be worthless. They wouldn't be able to create as many as much money as as of now. Right? So Bitcoin make them obsolete in a Bitcoin world, right? If I go to work, I don't need to. I don't need a bank account. Right? I, I could just give you my Bitcoin address and. You pay me in Bitcoin, right? So I don't need, uh, you know, a bank account, a direct deposit, anything, anything, any nonsense like that. I just need, you know, a Bitcoin address, right? That's it, right? A phone, I got a phone, I got a wallet on my phone. I'm getting on the highway now. I got a wallet on my phone, right? So simply just, uh, you know, create, generate an address, and just uh, pay me on that address, right? Simple. So this is this is it, right? This is it. So uh, that's why we don't really need the banks anymore, right? They are pretty much obsolete, right? So that's why they hate Bitcoin so much, right? Because Bitcoin removed them from the equation. But it's 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 well deserved because you know if they are acting in you know they are not acting in our interest right they are acting to destroy the currency right they, not just the, when they destroy the currency they destroy our trusts but most importantly they destroy our energy our time right so every million dollars they give somebody alone to buy a house right they just create that create that money out of thinner um 
to give that person to go get the loan. So that money right, has to go through the economy. Right? That's an that's an, an inflation. Right? They they inflate the money supply. Right? So that's a problem there. Right? That's a problem right there. That's why you see you right, as a young person you cannot afford a house right? because those prices got inflated right? artificially inflated right? so you see like somebody just create the money to buy the house right? just like let's say for example you have $100,000 right? and they said they tell you the house is $100,000 right? so you save up to that save, you save up to, to that $100,000 and then until then there's somebody right who didn't work didn't save anything just find a way to create a fake two hundred thousand right and then what the, and then they give it to somebody else right so this person with the fake two hundred thousand you go buy the house so they put a bid on you they said hey they give more. I'm gonna give you one hundred thousand. This guy is he just just have one. Uh, just this guy just have one hundred thousand. I'm gonna give you two hundred thousand. So now, well, the seller is gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna take the two hundred thousand. They don't care if it's fake or if it's, no. They just take it, right? Okay. So next, next time, another guy, right? Create like. The same, another bank, right, create like a million, right? So, five times, right? So, I say, hey, I have uh, this money. I have like, uh, um, I'm, it, is, it is a million dollars for the house, right? So, I'm going to give you a million dollars for this $100,000 house. Nobody can beat me on this bid, right? And then they create that, the push button. And then they give it to somebody, and then they say, "Hey, go buy the house for one million dollars, right?" And the owner is gonna be like, "Oh, okay, that's okay. Two hundred thousand is more than one hundred thousand. A million is more than two hundred thousand. So I'm gonna take the one, uh, one million. Yeah. It, so, yeah. So this is how you get outbid on the market. This is how they, you know, they out out compete you on the market. It's just." They, this, this, the banking system is choosing winners and losers, right? So if you are able to get, it's all about can you can you get that loan? Can you get that you know um, that loan from the bank? That's all that matters, right? So if you can get that loan, right, you will outbid everyone else, and you will be. You, you will be on top of the market, right? So we, you will be the winner. Right? But if you can't, right? so you you still in in the loser side, right? This is how inequality create it get created, right? In the economy. So yeah, so it's this is it's a, it's a terrible thing. So this is why the banking system is so toxic to to society. Right? So the bank was created just to hold people's gold, right? Like I mean, I mean, like not just gold, but to hold people money in the terms like because people couldn't. It was hard to transact with, you know, gold. So you know, like, and they just people just deposit our gold there, and then you know that's why you see bank called. In Goldman Sachs, right? So they just, you know, deposit their gold there. You know, you say you have trust, and right? you have in the bank name we call trust, right? So the, the people put their trust into those institutions, right? And then uh, they park their money there, and then when they need, they just use a paper, right? Of the of the gold, right? They call that paper gold, and like certificates to transact. Right? So this is how. This is what bank was serving. This is the need you were serving. But because we give all our 
responsibility to the banks, right? So they they abuse that, right? It's always happened this way, right? They abuse that, you know, and then now they use it again against us, right? So it's nothing to complain about. It's just like we have to take that, you know, responsibility back. Right? We have to take our own responsibility. Right? This is why we always say in Bitcoin, run your own node, verify your own transactions. Right? So don't trust, verify. Right? So don't be that sucker who's going to lose all his money in the bank. Don't be that sucker who's going to lose all his Bitcoin on Celsius. Right? So, you know, like, you don't be that. Like, you know, stop chasing yield, right? It's like, if you, in a bank, like, how much yield they're gonna give you for your million dollars, right? It's, 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 it's negligible, right? So, how much money they're gonna give you in the Celsius, right? It's negligible, like, you know, like, block five, negligible. But people are so greedy, right? They, they, they want some yield, right? Even leaden, right? I see. I still see people are uh, talking about leaden, lending. Like, what? Bitcoin is not a debt-based system, right? You can't. You don't want to build those crap product, those crappy product on top of it, right? It will fail. It will eventually fail. But people don't seem to learn, and they still don't listen to those people. You know? Those companies, they are, you know, funding those Bitcoin podcasters. So they can get you to, you know, you know, give your Bitcoin like a donkey, right? So it's a it's a donkey thinking way to give away your Bitcoin, right? So your Bitcoin keys, right? You don't want to give your keys, right? And not, not not your keys like your coin, right? So so anyways, anyways, guys, I just. Uh, find it fascinating all uh, people still fall for this for this scam so yeah don't lose your money right um, this way yeah and don't give don't you know don't give your money to the bank right don't give don't you have to take your own responsibility to you know you know protect your own money so anyways guys this is uh, what it is, and this was the Toxic Talk for today. Please like, subscribe, comment, stream me some stats if you find value. Only if you find value. And then, as you know, I'll see you again in the next Toxic Talk. This was Pike Over.